question is, what is a putonio? And if if you know what is a putonio, put down your answer for a, an extra bragging rights in the chat box, because it is a traditional measurement, but of what? Okay, so we have some answers locked in here. We have um, a little bit all over the place. We have 120, 150, some people saying 200 um, grams per liter. So what's the answer? Okay, the answer is 150 per six plutonium Tokai Asu. The law actually has changed in uh, Tokai in 2013. Um, uh, the three and four plutonium uh, Asu became obsolete. We are now having five and six plutonium. And essentially, putonia traditionally it was a basket of uh, berries of uh, Botrytis cinerea affected berries added to gonchi, which is a Hungarian barrel um, of the uh, of wine. So, depending on how many baskets baskets were roughly about twenty kilos was added to gonchi, uh, the uh, sweetness level was then called five six putonias before three and four as well. Today, the, the law has changed and we're looking really at the sweetness level as a measurement, not the putonyash. Putonyash is the traditional way of describing the richness, the sweetness, the, the broader body of wine. So six putonyashs asu will start with 150 grams, generally we'll run to 180. And that acidity coming from bull mint will really uh, <coughs> stand out so you that's what happens in a blind tasting when you are understanding that this one is coming from tokai if you have the sutan and tokai side by side it will be the acidity that will actually take you to uh, tokai and lack of new oak would also take you uh, to tokai all right great job everyone we're moving on uh we're moving to sweet Fortified wines. So now, pale cream sherry is often sweetened with RCGM, which stands for Rectified Concentrated Grape Mass, Pedro Jimenez, beet root sugar, and cane sugar. Which one is it? What's the answer? Have you ever had a pale cream sherry? So if you are not yet a sherry lover, I hope with time you're going to be. Uh, Pelcrim sherry is a perfect way to start your journey, um, to learn, to love the, the uh, in this case, case, and that will be a tip for you, a fino style. Okay, so we have uh, folks answering again all over. No one choosing number four so far, but we have choices for one two and three so far so go ahead and reveal okay. so actually one is the answer pale cream sherry it's actually made with the um uh, with uh, wine that went through the biological aging so we have two styles of sherry that are made in a uh, under the biological aging or oxidative aging and biological aging would also mean that it's a, either a Pinot or Manzanilla. So generally those will be uh, sweetened with rectified concentrated grape mass and those that are oxidatively aged uh, very often will be uh, sweetened with Pedro Jimenez. So great job, look into sherries, sherries uh, especially dry sherries uh, are coming back into styles. The other day we had an amazing webinar on sherries where, where we were studying, you know, how the sherries going through really changes in the revolution and how amazing and complex sherry can be. But moving further, 